In this video, you will learn about using Design Room 1. Let's begin the demo. I open the Design Room 1 URL in a Firefox browser. The heading indicates that no design is open. Let's open a design. Click the Designs menu and select Open. A list of available designs is displayed. Two designs are available and have the same name of JKE Design, but they have two different local configurations version 1 and version 2. If the design list is long, you can use the search field to filter the list. For this demo, I'll select the first design and click Open. The design opens in an Explorer tree. The Explorer tree looks the same as in Rational Software Architect Designer. Double-click a diagram to open it. The diagram is displayed in a new window on the right. You can resize the window by dragging it like this. To view the properties of an entity, select it and click Window, Show Properties. You can also press Shift P. The Properties window is displayed on the right. The windows can be rearranged. Let's move this one to the bottom. The tabs correspond to those in Rational Software Architect Designer. The tabs contain information about attributes and operations, among other aspects. You can zoom in on, pan, or center diagrams. You can select zoom level from the menu. You can also save UML entities to your favorites. I will add the rest package to my favorites. To add a favorite, Click Favorites, Add Selection. Now this package is listed in the Favorites menu. If you navigate away, you can always return to your favorites. To share a link with a colleague, you can copy the link that is located in the Advanced tab. I'll copy the link and open it in a different tab. The correct package opened. From the Properties window, you can also navigate to Parent Packages and so on. Just click the link. To view Help Topics, click Help, Help Contents. This displays help topics on exporting, administration, navigation, and so on. In the Help menu, select Keyboard Shortcuts to display all the available shortcuts. That concludes the demo on Design Room 1 usage. For more information, visit the DevOps community site.